Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel and for reaching 100 subscribers. Thank you very much, guys. We're on the road to 1k subscribers, guys, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button below. It is completely free and doesn't cost you a penny, guys. So today I am going to show you three locations to visit when you come to Edinburgh. Now these locations are completely free. The three attractions in Edinburgh that you can visit when you come over here or plan your visit to come here, guys. They do accept donations, so if you would like to leave a donation, you will see some of them advertising. Please leave a donation. Most of it is now contactless, guys. So if you just tap your card against a the donation, they'll take three pound off you automatically, guys. So today we're going to kick off the video with Dr. Neil's Garden and let's get into it guys. Dr. Neil's Garden is located right next to the 12th century Dunstan Kirk. Dr. Neil's Garden, also known as Edinburgh's Secret Garden, is much more than a simple garden. Built by Dr. Andrews and Dr. Nancy Neil, it is considered a place of inspiration. It strives to bring change into the community through its artwork and other healthy activities. You can visit it any day of the week and that too is free. You can also enjoy some famous expeditions at the gardens. Dr Neil's garden is definitely a place you need to visit guys. So definitely plan ahead and I hope you enjoy this beautiful place. Now Dunbar's Close is a place you want to visit. Located on the left hand side of the Cannon Gate, Dunbar's Close is located down the Royal Mile of Edinburgh's Castle. This 17th century style garden is divided into 8 parts and looks like the backyard of someone's garden. From its well gardens to the soft grass, Dunbar's Close is a perfect place to sit down on the benches around the garden and relax. It was named after a famous writer who owned tenements back in 1773. It is truly a relaxing place to come visit. Ross Fountain Ross Fountain is named after Daniel Ross who first saw it at the Great Expedition in London back in 1862 and later gifted it back to Scotland. It was dismantled and shifted to the Lost Ark workshop to be restored to its original glory and the entire process cost around £1.9 million and is now back to life with the help of the City of Edinburgh Council. It is one of the most loved landmarks in Edinburgh and people love to visit it every now and again. I'm trying to tell you 